Welcome back to JSA TV Live. We are the live streaming news source for Data Cloud USA here in Austin, Texas. And it's been a wonderful day two of the conference. We're just about to wrap things up, but before we do, we wanted to sit down and have a conversation with Jose Guillema with um, Data Center Directors with Collier. Thank you so much for joining us on JSA TV Live. Thank you, thank you so much for inviting me. So how has your Data Cloud Conference been as we're wrapping things up and things are starting to wind down? I think it's been excellent. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us. You know, we come far away from um, Spain and it's been a pleasure attending the, the event. And I think that we've learned lots of things and, and it's been a real pleasure attending the event. Yeah. Absolutely. So Colliers, for those who don't know, is one of the leading data center operators in Spain um, in, in that market. So can you just offer some insight into what you guys do and then why that geographic location is so enticing? Yeah, actually, um, we are a real estate advisory company. And uh, what we provide is, uh, you know, uh, a complete and exhaustive uh, advisory throughout the value chain of the data center from the data from the land acquisition to the development of the of the facility, and also we we got a, a good uh, resources regarding corporate transactions and so on. And let's say that our our footprint is is uh, limited to Spain and Portugal, despite we have uh, strong operations in the UK, Italy, and obviously in the US with our teammates. Uh, but yes, I think that Spain has gained. A lot of momentum in the last years uh, because of the constraints that uh, U.S. operators and the other operators in the in the European countries are facing in the flat market. You know, Frankfurt, London, Amsterdam, and Paris. And you know, geographically, Spain is ideal. It's an excellent landing station for subsea cables. Uh, fiber connectivity is top class, and we are we have plenty of. Uh, of uh, supply and um, capacities in terms of renewable energy. So uh, I think it's a great, great place to, to launch your, your investments in, in the data set space. Absolutely, investments, not operators. I, I apologize not for that. <laughs> so, so let's talk about fiber connectivity though. As yeah. you just mentioned, the fiber tech connectivity is, is strong there. So how does the fiber connectivity in Spain compare to the other parts of Europe? I think it's the plus. Uh, for the last decade, I think there has been a great investment in terms of fiber and uh, uh, dark fiber in the whole uh, penis Iberian Peninsula. And uh, we are taking advantage of it. I mean, data center operators from, from Spain, if you take into account uh, standard applications requirements of 65 milliseconds latency, you can get, you can reach North America, South America through Brazil. You can, you can reach North Africa, uh, um, you know, um, Middle East, and then Central Europe. This, in fact, only 35 percent of the data uh, managed by the data center operators, uh, data center um, facilities that are in Spain, um, are managed and are, let's say, uh, consumed by the Spanish market. The rest is. We are providing services to the rest of Europe, North Africa, and so on. Yeah. Definitely an emerging market and something yeah. to keep an eye on. Um, we're Here at the conference, we're talking a lot about sustainability and greening that data center space. Um, Spain has been making some pretty good strides with renewable energy. So can you just talk to us a little bit about what you're seeing and how that's benefiting the industry as a whole? I mean, uh, the Spanish market is really, uh, they, they, they know, in fact, that uh, being is compliant and and getting the energy from you know and green resources is a must, in, not just regulatory but also from the commercial side. I mean, customers require that and you have to comply with it. And uh, I think that Spain is really very good positioned in terms of uh, rene renewable energy. We are great. Uh, there's a lot of uh, solar farms, windmills, and so on. And uh, I think that hybridization in that regard would be a very good solution for you know, reaching this green data center, um, let's say, ideal framework. And uh, in fact, uh, we announced back in May a project in Huesca, just beside AWS uh, campus uh, in Spain. And uh, we are very fond of it, and uh, we'll see, we'll see. It's very exciting, next one's uh, and a lot of challenges. That is exciting, so congratulations. Thank Definitely you. something to be celebrated. Yeah. Um, can we talk real, real quickly about Madrid and what's the role of that city as the the market continues to emerge? Madrid has the advantage that is 
it's in a 60, 600 kilometers radius from any point of the coast of Spain. So that in terms of uh, connectivity, it's a very good interconnection point. There's uh, plenty of, uh, of, uh, of um, sources to, to, to provide that connectivity. And the, and the fact is that 90% of the current installed capacity of data centers in Spain it's, it's, it's already uh, installed in Madrid. No, Barcelona is 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 just behind. You know, maybe a couple of years uh, uh, before, but uh, they are still announcing big projects there. So uh, I think most of the requirements in terms of investment is is related to Madrid. And uh, Madrid is, you know, in now, nowadays it has 100 megawatts uh, installed capacity, and they're going to reach 600 in the next four years. So I think that they're going to. You know, you know, catch the flat market queries at least. So that's a, that's the target. So five to ten years down the line, what do you see for the overall data center market in in Spain? I am that. Well, I'm certain that we will be the the southern Europe hub for data centers. Uh, we will take advantage of the you know uh, African market growth. Uh, we'll see. I think that's plenty of opportunities. We have a lot of generation possibilities in terms of energy. And I think that in the end, we will become very relevant in the European market. Very good. Lots of exciting things to come for sure. Where can we go to just keep an eye on all of the things that you guys have coming and what you're sure. seeing? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Um, can you tell our viewers where they can go to learn more about your company? You can go to colleges.com. I think that uh, there you can find our contacts and also in College of Spain. And we'll, we'll happy to, to help you in any of your requests. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us here on JSA TV Live, and thanks to our viewers for tuning in, and happy networking.